Welcome to the Flames TV Live pregame show brought to you by Budweiser. Pleasure to have you here tonight as the Flames are back at the Scotiabank Saddle Dome for a crucial four game homestand starting tonight against the Ottawa Senators. This will be the eighth time these two teams have met this season. We're going to get to the matchup shortly, but first let's open up that Saddle Dome Live app. Click the fan game section and enter tonight's Flames and Senators event. The Ram Road Race is open right now and will run right through to the end of the game tonight using the Saddle Dome Live app. Play the entire road race right from your mobile devices to automatically be entered to win a Ram 1500 SLT crew cab. And that's not all. Score four presented by bet99.net. Jump in right now and cor correctly predict four scenarios about tonight's matchup with the Senators. And you can battle against Stajan and I tonight. We've got our picks in. Let's take a peek at what we've picked for tonight's game. The winner of tonight is going to score a Looch 1000 prize pack, but all contestants will, will continue to accumulate points towards the bet99.net score for grand prize to be announced soon. There's a look at that beautiful Looch 1000 prize pack. Score 4 presented by bet99.net is free to play and you must be 19 years or older to enter. And as a reminder, because we are predicting live game scenarios tonight, the bet99.net score four contest will close shortly after puck drop. Good luck to everybody tonight. All right, uh, before we get to tonight's matchup, uh, this will be the eighth matchup between the Ottawa Senators and the Flames. Let's have a look at last week's Eastern Road Trip. For Lucic to the circle, plays it across, they score! Great setup by Lucic, he finds Val Mackey on the back door, it's one up to Calgary and one away. To start off game number 1,000, number 17. Back in front, back to Matthews, in front, oh what a stop by Markstrom, how does that not go? Celebrating game 1001 tonight as Jordano scores! Mark Jordano rips it through from a point 29 seconds into the period. It's Lemo in front, backhand scores! Josh Lemo! Well, taking a look at tonight's matchup, the Flames are aiming to get back in the win column after that unlucky loss in Montreal on Friday night. The skinny red defender was the difference maker on three occasions with the Flames out shooting the Canadians 30 to 20. For the Senators, they're coming off a 4-0 shootout, shutout victory over the Canadians on Saturday night, helping to keep the Flames within six points for the fourth and final spot uh, in the playoffs, playoff spot in the Scotia North division. Now, before the 2-1 loss in Montreal on Friday night, the Flames were riding a three-game winning streak, and tonight they will look to find that offensive touch they found during that run. You know, overall, even last game, we, we should have had a better result than what we had. I mean, it's uh, that's happened a bunch this year. Where we've been losing late in games, and it's, it's ultimately put us in this position. So, um, you know what, I think the one thing that is consistent is we've gave ourselves a, a great chance to win each and every night. So um, that's all you can ask for. Especially these last four games, I think we, uh, I think we played well as a decor. Um, we've even, uh, you know, we've generated a lot of offense too. And um, but overall, the D, the all 60 men have played uh, played well in my opinion. And uh, you know, we just got to keep going now. Play, play well in the D zone and try to uh, get the pucks in the forwards' hands and let them generate. I think we had the offense there, even in that 2-1 loss. We just weren't able to finish. We had a lot of uh, great A chances, a lot of time in the offensive zone. Um, I think it's just about uh, bearing down on those chances and um, and continue to play the right way. You know, when you have a game like that where things don't go in, sometimes the next game you try to cheat a little bit. Um, so I think we're trying to eliminate that, make sure that we stick to the process, uh, believe in the process, and um, just bear down on those chances. 
Well, as mentioned in the open, tonight's game is the first of four at home. After tonight, the Flames will have a three-day break from games at least to prepare for a triple header against Montreal on the weekend. And you know those three games are oh, going to have big Well, it's the old cliche, the one game at a time. I think um, with the way our, our schedule has been spread out too now, it doesn't make it too difficult. We... Due to obviously the situation there in Van, games have, have been cancelled and there's a lot of time in between games. So you look at one game tonight against Ottawa and then we don't play till Friday. So it's pretty easy as, as a player to get focused for, for each individual game. We need to really establish ourselves at home. Um, to get these these games, to get one by one would be really big for our group. So it's, uh, you know, those three coming in with Montreal are obviously circled for us, but if we can take care of business tonight and get two points, it uh, sets us up really well for uh, the three games coming up after. It's time now for who to watch for the Senators. Start off with them. Drake Batherson scored his first team, his team leading 14th and 15th goals of the season in Saturday's 4 0 win over Montreal. The Canadian World Junior star continues to elevate his game on Ottawa's top line. And for the Flames, Elias Lindholm has been quietly riding a five game point streak with three goals and seven points. He is the Flames team leader in points with 38. Now, Milan Lucic may have played his 1,000th game on Tuesday in Toronto, but tonight he will be honored in a pregame ceremony where he will receive his silver stick, making him the 356th NHL player in history to make, have the honor. It's going to be a pretty special night that I get to share with my uh, wife and kids uh, being presented that silver stick. Um, you know, it sucks that we can't have fans and you know, do it, do it properly and, uh, you know, without the social distancing and all that type of stuff. But uh, I think it's still, a, you know, going to be a special night that I get to share with, uh, you know, the people most important to me and, you know, your, your family and uh, wife and kids and, uh, and your teammates as, as well. Uh, we had a little, uh, a little something for him this morning in the locker room and it's cool just to see, uh, you know, the smile on his face. He's such a, a happy team guy. Um, it's fun to be able to, um, you know, give some stuff to him, share the moments with him. Um, obviously, the hats and the T-shirts, and that kind of stuff uh, for some memories and some memorabilia. But um, just cool to be a part of uh, a unique and um, pretty cool honor for him. He's obviously Luch is uh, one of my best buddies in the game. To playing with him here over the past couple of years, but. Uh, there's a lot, lot of, a lot of respect around the league for him, and obviously having the career he's had, uh, I look at, look up to him too. I mean, winning a Stanley Cup is the one that sticks out, but getting to a thousand too, uh, it's a pretty huge accomplishment. So, um, yeah, it's gonna be gonna be nice to see him get that silver stick presented to him tonight for sure. Well, let's check in with tonight's need to know. Tonight's game marks the 12th time the Kachuk brothers have faced off against each other in their pro careers. Mark Giordano passed Al McGinnis for most game-winning goals scored by a defenseman for the franchise record at 23 game-winning goals. And as the schedule lightens up for the Flames, their final 11 regular season games will be played over the next 30 days. Now, the Senators are coming off of their first shutout win of the season, and despite their position in the standings, the young up-and-coming stars on this team have given the Flames troubles this season as they lead the season series five games to two. We took our lumps early from everybody, and, uh, you know, we get a chance to play spoiler, but also get a chance to get important games, you know, and see how they're played. I mean, these are playoff games. Yesterday's a playoff game. Uh, tomorrow's a playoff game. Calgary, these teams are playing them like playoff games and we're getting free experience and, and realizing, you know, how you have to play to win those games. <clears throat> you know, at the start of the year, I think everyone, you know, wanted just to put all the kids in and, and let them play. And that, I don't believe that's how you uh, develop guys. Over time, you, you earn certain spots on the power play. You earn certain minutes. You earn chances to play in the last minute. And every one of these young guys at some point has either beat a veteran out um, or, or, you know, proven their worth in this league and, and they feel uh, and they have the confidence because they did so they weren't given anything. Uh, these young guys, 
and and the guys that have been here are proven that uh, they can play with anyone in the league on any given night. Obviously, they're a team that work extremely hard, and uh, you know they, they they play a certain structure where they don't really allow you to get to the net a bunch of times, and it's hard for us deep men to get shots through. And uh, as I said, they work incredibly hard, and uh, you know they have a lot of young and talented players. So. Um, yeah, in my opinion, I, I, we just need to try to get to the net a little bit more and uh, try to uh, try to create a little bit more opportunities to score. Yeah, I think that uh, I think at home we've only played them we've only played them twice and uh, won one and lost one in a shootout. That we came back in the third and should have won that one in in regulation. Um, I felt some of our chances, so um, just take care of uh, home ice here and, and try to get the win. Well, here's a look at your starting goaltenders for tonight. For the Senators, Matt Murray coming off of his first shutout win of the season. He's been the workhorse for the Senators this year. And now for the Flames, Jacob Markstrom makes his sixth straight start for Calgary. In his last four games, he has three wins, a shutout, and, a five, and five goals against. Now that sets up the game for this evening. Let's take a look at the 50-50 jackpot you have until 10 p.m. to purchase your tickets. Go to calgaryflames.com slash 5050 to support Southern Alberta charities. And Matt Stajan will be here this evening. He'll be here on the intermissions and post game. If you have a question for Matt, use the hashtag AskStage on Twitter and we will get to as many of those as we can. That does it for the pregame show brought to you by Budweiser. Coming up next, it is Puck Drop. Enjoy the game, everybody.